Hello and uh, a very good afternoon to you. And next up for you is the men's singles match as the number six seed Wang Zhenmin takes on the Polish shuttler Michał Rogowski. On court number one, Players just about to be announced onto the court. Rather snazzy, isn't it, here in the uh, Ballarup Super Arena? Here, just outside of the centre of Copenhagen. The uh, graphics that are illuminated onto the court. As you can see there from that picture, you can see court one lit up. Players coming out of the shadows, and there is Wang Zhengming. Well, China, of course, have had such joy in the men's singles over the last, what, six, seven years plus, of course, Lin Dan at the forefront of that here at these World Championships. Chen Long, of course, the favourite as far as China are concerned, but Wang Zhengmin hoping to play a role. And Jim, his first opponent this week, is the pole, Michal Rogowski. Yeah, and it's going to be interesting to see if Wang Zhengmin can live up to the pressure that is uh, to play for China, and especially when Lin Dan is not here, he's, you know, they'll be looking for him to have a good result here. That's what I should uh, say a very good afternoon to you. And I suppose being a Dane, very exciting to have the World Championships, uh, you know, definitely at home it's, again. 15 years, hasn't yeah, it? It's been. Yeah. It's 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 been a while, and and of course uh, this is something we've been looking forward in Denmark for for quite a while. So it's good as you. So there is Rogowski. He has a very little experience at this kind of level. He's up against a player who. OK, may not have uh, won many times, but really should have the know-how to, to overcome his opponent. Wang Zhengmin, because he's sixth in the world and won more matches this year, twice as many than he's lost. Yeah, I think it's more down to when, when will he start, you know, fulfilling that potential that he, he has. I think he has a lot of potential, but he hasn't really taken that next step. Um, that could be, this could be the chance. Well, Rogalski, of course, playing at a lower level. You can see has a positive win-loss ratio. 86th in the world. Just failed to defend his Eurasia Open title in Bulgaria last week. Lost in five sets to Raul Must. Five sets it was as well, which was uh, one of the tries. They were trying that out there and also here in Brazil. And it went, it went the distance as well in that final. Yeah. He's got to get used to the, the old scoring system again, hasn't he? As you can see, our umpire is uh, Girish. Natu of uh, India, there he is. And, uh, these two players just limbering up, getting ready for this men's singles match. And, and in some respect, given the scoreline early on as we look at uh, Rogalski here, uh, it's opened up a little bit in this side of the draw because I think most people were expecting Momoto earlier to beat Wei Nan. Wei Nan obviously came through in a, a thrilling match in, in three games, a, a match you saw earlier on here on court one. That's the third round possible opponent for, for yeah. uh, Wang Zhengming. That's a big surprise. Uh, I thought he would have done well here, but credits to Wei Nan. Good result for him. So, of course, if Wang Zhengming here has been looking at that and say that's, that's a good chance. Yeah, of course, he lost in the last 16. Last year in the World Championships, did Wang Zheming lost to Lee John Wei. And, uh, well, he's a player who uh, has very much seen Lin Dan as a, a big brother, if you like. He, he's lost a few times to him, yeah. even this year, but uh, got a lot of help from Lin Dan as well. Strange not to have Lin Dan here this week, isn't it, really? Yeah, and it is, as I said, it is a pressure for the Chinese players because it's up to them to show that there's a reason why he's not here. Um, so, yeah, the, the men's singles, it's uh, there's no Bunsang Ponsana, a number of the uh, singles players have not been, I think ready? five of the world's top 18 aren't in the men's draw. So it's, it's opened up, obviously, if people are wondering Germany. whether this is going to be Lee Chong Wei's time. He's on court later. But right now, Pulling. it's Wang Zhengmin and Mikhail Rogowski, and we're just about ready to get Wang underway. Wang Zhengmin, China. Wang Zhengmin to serve, love all, play. Well, on paper, at least, this should be uh, fairly straightforward for the number six seed. 80 places between these players in the world rankings. They never met before. 
nothing to lose, I suppose, for Rogowski. And as Jim was uh, suggesting in the build-up to this match, Rogowski just misjudging that one. Uh, maybe a little bit of pressure on these uh, Chinese shutlers, shutlers with uh, no Lindan here this week. Yeah, and you can say for, for, for Wang Jiming, this is also a good chance to show that potential here, uh, to, to, to go and do a result here, uh, to make the, I think, the Chinese uh, Federation believe in him. Yeah, because he, he won a couple of times last year, one of them a, a Super Series event in China, yeah. he won in Switzerland as well. You thought that was going to be the lift-off for him, and it hasn't quite panned out that way. Yeah. And we're not talking about bad results here, it's quite good results he has, he's just up against... Yeah, he's been in a semi, he's been in a final this year, he's lost both times to Lin Dan. I mean, yeah. he's not losing to unexpectedly, like if he lost here today, that would be a, that would a huge be a, upset. A huge upset, but, but coming from China, the, the standard of of results are just that good that what he has done so far is, is not Service good enough. Three, we expect more of that place. Jim, you've obviously you've played in world championships, you've, you've got to the latter stages. If you're in Wang Zhengming's position right that's just gone long, it seems Service a fairly over. comfortable start. We're seeing some matches Three. later on where it's a, it, it seems a little bit more even on paper. How would you like to come into a tournament? Would you like a supposedly easier opponent, or would you like to really have to be at it from the start? Well, it's it's, it's more a matter of how, where you are yourself, I think. Uh, if, of course, a good first round would be always be good because you can get into the hall and learn how the where the drift is coming from and just get the feeling of being in there. I think I think I would prefer to have a weak opponent to start with. I think most players uh, would would like to have that. So. Now, Rogowski settling well. This was a nice smash from him. A little short, the lift from uh, Wang Zhengming. And you can say one thing is that, of course, he can prove me wrong, but still, if Rogowski plays his best game, he's not he's not going to be able to beat Wang Zhengming anyway, and Wang Zhengming just probably knows that. So uh, he can have still have a fairly bad day and win this match, but if he had a better opponent in the first match, then it would be over. So. The thing for Rogowski is he, he comes in here having made three finals in the last three events. I mean, his confidence couldn't really be higher, uh, albeit he's lost in all three of them. But still, <laughs> you know, when you, At you least know, it gets to the final, and you're playing a lot of badminton, you know, yeah. you're not turning up, and, and you know, you got one match. He's playing, you know, three, four matches every week in the in the uh, last few events that he's played. So he's got to be full of confidence. At, even if he is 80 places below his opponent in those rankings. Yeah. But Six. this is a different class of players he's playing, he's playing against. Sure. Him. I mean, so. he lost in the European Championships to, yeah. to Jana Jorgensen's second round defeat in, uh, against opponents, if you'd like, a little bit of higher class. Because while Wang Xinming's playing what Super Series events, <laughs> if you like, if you want to compare it to, to football, he's playing, kind of playing third division, isn't yeah. he, really? Yeah. yeah. But this is this is the right thing to do for a player like Rogowski. It doesn't really give any meaning to just go out in the big tournaments and lose first round. He's doing what he's supposed to do here. He's winning matches, as you say, and that's given him confidence to develop. So, uh, but I just think this is a step too far, and I think we see in the beginning also now he's slowly just getting the edge. Uh, Wang Jimin, he's he's just he's just got more f weapons, uh, and and you know. And of course, Lee Yong Bo and, and all the staff in the China team, they would have done their homework on Rogowski, but I wouldn't have thought they'd seen too much of him. So, in a way, these early points have been a way for Wang Zhengming to eye up his opponent, see what strengths there are, what weaknesses he might be able to exploit. Yeah, definitely. Maybe the first 11 points going Wang's way. Great shot. Very good choice. You see the more and more men singles that they, they go for the body instead of going to the side. I mean, you've looked to I mean, obviously you've been watching a lot of badminton this year. And I did mention, you know, a number of the top 20 players aren't here this week. Lee Chong Wei's just coming back from injury. Chen Long, if you like, hasn't been at his very best in the last four or five months. I mean, 
a lot of these players, the, the seeded players, the top, you know, Nine. Momoto's gone out Four. now. He was another danger man. They must be thinking, he is, you know, someone like Wang Jiaming thinking, I can do this this yeah. week. He, definitely. It, it's, it's, it's pretty open. You can say that. Yeah. It's, it's, I mean, Lee Chong Wei is going to be course. the favourite, but you don't know how he's going to react to his injury, do no, you? No, really? that's the thing. There's this little thing out there where you don't over. know really where he is. Um, Five. Nine. I think he was injured last year as well in the Worlds and did. And ahead going into the Olympics as well, he yeah, was, so he was out he's for done, a while. He's done quite well with that, so sure. you, you should believe that he's still the favourite. He's a good athlete, isn't yeah. he? Yeah. And of course, there's a home hope who'll be, who, who says he's stronger and fitter than ever and Jan and you know, Jorgensen, yeah. isn't he? I mean, he, um, he is. He must be licking Seven's his lips, over. really. He is, he's ready. And uh, he's boosting with confidence after that uh, Indonesian Open victory. And, and I've been seeing him training and out there, and you can just see that he believes in everything he does now. And that's very important. That's why winning a tournament is so Service important, over. because then you can see the benefit Six. of what, what you're trying Ten. to do in training. An angled shot from uh, one just wide. Oh, that's a good shot. Yeah, Fantastic. Man. Nicely put away by Rogowski. Seven. Ten. You see, that's that's the benefit of having him hit that smash to the to the chest first, because then he opens up. The, Service over. He he makes 11, the call a little bit seven, bigger. Interval. So uh, as expected, uh, an interval lead for Wang Zhengming. 11 points to seven, the advantage. <laughs> Disappointing uh, final point as far as Rogowski was concerned. Yeah, miss it. But we'll, we'll probably see that for some, some of the players getting used to the light and the drift and the shuttles. I know you've been uh, talking to some of the players that have been practicing here. I mean, what do they make of the court conditions? They like it. They think it's it's good. It's court it's, uh, one, it's comfortable to play in there. And I don't think court the drift is one, is that Thank bad you. yet. Uh -huh. But the more the more spectators and you'll have more people walking around. And you, you, it's you, very warm in yeah, here, isn't it? They're probably going to need to turn on some aircon at some point. I mean, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, I'm bringing my shorts. Yeah, that's yeah, for sure. Yeah, oh, well, I didn't pack any. That's it. And that, that will make a huge difference uh, on the court uh, conditions. So, But so far, they, they really liked it. 12, and you can also see 7. here there's no, uh, not that many easy mistakes. So I think that, that you know, Wang Chiming, he's, he's controlling the shoddy, shoddy pretty well. So, And I like these electronic scoreboards they, they bring down before the match that uh, lets you know who's coming on. And yeah, and it's actually at the top, so... Normally you will have these things down on the floor where yeah. some 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 of the can't really seven. see them. Here they they can see the score all the time. It's, it's beautiful. I think they made a good job here. Yeah, it looks nice. You'd never know it was a a cycling arena, would you? No. You see where it says leaning behind there on the on with the white graphic on the black background? That is covering up the cycling track. Yeah. Please welcome the technical officials. Three. Now they have every year they have this they have different I think that the world championship here in, in indoor cycling as well um, but every year they have this six days <laughs> uh, cycling thing uh, which is a, almost kind of a sport and then also kind of a party thing uh, so then where the where the players are right now there will be different things going on while they're driving around so it's, yeah it's, it's, apparently it's we, we, because we've been looking at the thing is we're in the battle up super arena here and i have to say a good start hasn't it been from wang since the interval taking all 3.7 point gap now between these two but yeah we obviously being in this arena looking at the history of it uh they had six day cycling and, and they cycled for six days in the old days though we were seeing that they actually cycled non-stop for six days yeah. team of two so yeah, yeah. one on the track one off the track 15, but my seven. goodness we think badminton's a test of endurance <laughs> but I, I think that would uh, really push even the most fittest people here yeah. 
And you can see there Rogowski, I, I think now he, he's feeling like he's playing against a superior opponent. Yeah. Maybe just trying to bite off more than he could chew there, trying to play the perfect shot. He's, he, and then that's the that's the thing, he's feeding the pressure of the tempo. The Van Ming is just faster and everything goes faster than he normally is used to, therefore he, 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 will do, he will do some mistakes that he normally doesn't do because he feels like he has to uh, go for it more than uh, normally. I still think he's playing quite okay, Rogowski. He's taking his chances, but Wang is just too good. Now he's picked up his first Sorry, point since the interval. It stopped a run of six points in a 16. row for for Wang. And there's no doubt he wants to get on the front foot, doesn't he, Rogowski? That's where most of his points have come. Oh, that's a fantastic shot by Rogowski. Nine, a good 16. trick shot there. Wang thought that was going to go long, and then at the end he just changed it. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful shot. Amazing. Quick one. Well, more of these, if he keeps those things up, you know, he can maybe... The gap's too big, isn't it, for this game, though? No, now it is, probably in this game, but... He has to take those chances. If he just, let's say, play like the normal game, then he won't he won't win. So he has to go for it some more than he normally does. Winner of this match meets either Peter Service Kukal over. or Vladimir Ivanov. So it could be uh, another Eastern European should Wang Zhengmin get through that and then as I say, you would expect, given the fact that he's just beaten Momoto, it to be uh, Wei Nan, mm. possible third-round opponent. Lee Chong Wei on this side of the draw 18, as well. Nine. Yeah, there's a lot of questions marks in, in, in this single tournament, so it's going to be fun to watch. Service over. 10, 18. And a couple of semi-finals for Wang this year also lost uh, as well as to Lin Dan at the China Masters. 11, to uh, Chen Long 18. at All England as well. Please welcome. Uh, there's been enough shots from Rogowski, hasn't there, today for him to look back at least with fondness, even if he doesn't get anything out of this match. Yeah, he's been uh, having quite a lot of success from the backcourt with these uh, cuts and sticks and smashes and good variation there, uh, down there. So. And this is simply a mistake because Wang is too quick for him, so... 19, 11. That's going to be his... Uh, that's going to be his problem there. Oh, great shot. These are the sort of shots that will annoy Wang Zhengming a little bit because thinking ahead, he he knows that he's going to have to be a, a little bit more on his game yeah. than he is right now against this opponent if he's to progress as far as he wants to go here. Yeah. It's, it's, very, it's, it's very difficult sometimes to, you know, but at the same time, he's, he's in good control here and he doesn't use as much, I say, energy. And uh, that's, if there's one thing that can decide a lot of things in the World Championship, we saw that last year, you know, it's, it's, 
you know, the energy and, you know, we saw Li Ching Wei, he, he just didn't have, have any more last year, he, you know, and had to quit. So the more games you can get away playing well without using too much energy, the better, the better your chances are. So game points for Wang Zheng Ming. Game point 13. Just 15 minutes played. And court number one here in the Ballarup Super Arena. Service over. A bit lucky. Well, 14. I don't think he'll be cursing his lag here, though, Wang. There's a, there's a few more game points to come. Well, that's well defended by Rogowski. 15-20. Well, two save, five still more to go, though. <laughs> and there we go. Game. Wide from Rogowski. Opening game First taken game by Wang Zhengming, pretty comfortable, Zhengming. despite uh, the best efforts 15. of the Polish player. Backhand always drifting wide. So the number six seed, looking good. Rogowski with it all to do to try and get a foothold in this match. 21 points to 15. Wang took the opening game. Now, yeah, just the kick at the draw, and uh, of course, one seed's gone out in Momoto. Santoso's injured, and uh, also uh, injured in this side of the draw is Bunsak Ponsana. So we've already got three seeds in this half of the draw out. So Wang Zheng Ming here, Yano Jorgensen, Shozazaki, Victor Axelson and Li Chong Wei. They're the only seeds left in this half of the draw. Three are already out. Two, obviously, because they're not here and walkovers given to their opponents. And, and one who went out earlier on today. I mean, it, it's dreamland if you're, you know, Li Chong Wei really and, and the yeah. likes of Wang Zheng Ming really. You couldn't ask for more. The only thing you can say from the point of uh, a player like Yan and Wang Ming is they would have maybe preferred to be in the other side of the half because of Li Chengwei. So, <laughs> but then you've got those question marks even Fort still one, over Li Chengwei, haven't you? You still have those, Fort yeah. One, of course, on the other side of the draw, Kenichi Targo is obviously not here. He's not here, yeah. But apart from that, uh, they're all good to go. Yeah. Well, it, it, it is very interesting to see who's going to come out. But there is... There could so be that old Danish clash, couldn't there, in the quarterfinals, couldn't there? Victor uh -huh. uh, Axelsen against Jano Jorgensen. I think you, you will see some nerves if like. that happens, because that's... What, well, from both players? Yeah, because that's... That's one of the worst things. I think you, the, the one you've been training for the last three months with every day. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, and, and you shouldn't really look at it like that, should you, as a player? But I know Victor, for example, has been talking about, you know, he'd love the possibility. He wants to get mm. to the quarterfinals, the chance to take on Yan, but you just never know. I remember people One. talking, you know, you've been yeah. at big tennis tournaments, you know, mm. Wimbledon, and, you know, oh yeah, it could be a quarterfinal between, you know, Federer and Nadal, and both of them go out in the first and second round. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but but the thing is, of course, Victor would not be the favorite for that match, so he's probably a little bit more loose love. Than, than, than Yan would be, but you never know. We'll have to see what happens. Yeah. It'd be a great match if we do have it. Be later on in the week. Probably Friday. Yeah. And I'd expect this uh, arena to be full. Three. For that. I know no. for the for the finals all the tickets are gone, but there are still some tickets available the rest of the week. They reckon there's gonna be about twenty one thousand people here all week. Yeah. Plenty of seats here at the moment, which is uh, 
Oh, we're lacking a little bit of atmosphere. Just yeah, one of the things people, some of the people haven't, they're not off for work yet, so well, this is a bit difficult, one, but three. it will change. Later on, we'll have some Danes coming on, I think it'll be good. Body blow, wasn't it? From Silver one, Silver. four, fantastic. One, Oof. Yeah, it's kind of we're talking about the men's singles. That was a, Service <laughs> over. a loose one, I think. We'll, we'll put two. that one down to only two defending champions here, aren't there? This week, one of them, Ratch, not. She's not shouting her chances up too much either, is she? In the yeah. women's singles, she's uh, been suffering a little bit with injury. Yeah, and haven't really showed the same potential as he won last year. Service over. Over the years, though. Five. And the Chinese two. are kind of hurting a little from the Thomas Cup on the men's side, aren't they? They'll be yeah. eager to put that right. Should be a very interesting week. Wasn't there? <laughs> good leap. Oh, that's a good shot from Mikalski. Yeah, he's played that ball brilliantly. Yeah. Excellent shot from Mikhail Rogalski. Three, five. I really like that he's trying to do something at the net instead of just playing neutral. He's really trying to to get some good. But it was all around a ter terrific point. Good defence. Nice net play, and then the, the winner at the end of it as well. Yeah. That was really good quality from Rogowski. Yeah, just too quick there. Service over. Six, three. But Wang Chimin also need to come up in a, in a different gear if he's to, to compete in this tournament. I don't think he's really... Oh. Hopefully nothing happened there. Just long for Rogowski at the end of it. He's come down, had a little look. Uh, we don't want any more gen injuries. No, just a little slip. Yeah, he seems okay, yeah. You could tell. It's just a little unnerving, isn't it, when you yeah. do that? And he has something on his foot. Uh, Strapping there, so apparently maybe he's had a, a yeah, problem there. Yeah. Unusual when you don't see yeah. a, a player with, like. with strapping nowadays, isn't it? Really. I also think Seven, that a lot of players think more. Secure by having, you know, if you've had problems, new angles, or, you know, they feel more secure by having tape on there. So they'd be playing more freely than being afraid to make certain things. Service over. Four, seven. Again, the cross, fantastic. Really, really good. Five, seven. Wipe the puck. Yeah, and he's, he's, he's been having some luck with that. So I think that's the right idea for him to try and take Thank the you. net from, from Wang Chimin and come in with some of these cross court net shot. So he can, you know, attack from the back court. 
Black. 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 Great smash. Service over. Eight, five. Definitely need to see Wang Chimin in a different gear. Mm. I think he will win this match no matter what. But if he's too, I mean, do you think so? I mean, I don't know. I, I, I you just wonder, don't you? Isn't it playing the opponent and and, and, and getting the job done? He doesn't need to win 21-10, 21-9, no. does he? I mean, but he's, he's having to work for it a little bit here. You can say, you know, the, the red is. Uh, of course, that happens, but <laughs> but you understand what I'm yeah. saying. I mean, I, it, there's there's arguments either way, isn't there? Too easy, then you haven't had enough, no, I, I agree. enough I agree. of a test. Maybe you could argue, and then suddenly I agree with you. But I haven't just haven't seen one to mean doing that for a while. So 11, I'm afraid. Five. But that's isn't that his personality on the court, isn't yeah. it? That he he just sometimes that he looks like one of those players that doesn't look. What's the word that he, he doesn't look eager enough sometimes for it? But obviously he's capable of winning matches. His attitude is very, he looks very relaxed. Yeah, and, and therefore um, it can be a little bit, you know, not bit necessarily afraid. what it's on the inside. No, what's looking out on the outside? Eleven-five he leads in the interval. But you see, there's a lot of coaching going on, you know, and, and they shouldn't be coaching him now, like he. Should be knowing how Court to beat Lugansk and not seconds. to take anything, anything away from him, but this you. looks like there's panic, and there is no panic. And that's because the coaches are thinking, <laughs> Thank you. you know, are you there? <laughs> Come on. So, but you're right, it's, it could be working in the right way if he's just relaxed. And I mean, 11, in terms of five. European opponent, Peter Kukul, Black. Vladimir Ivanov. Ivanov can be a... Bit. I was going to say Ivanov, you'd feel, you know, would get through that one, and that'll be a bigger test, wouldn't it, for, yeah. for one? Much bigger. Oh, he's a good defense. He's a though. tall, big, strong, 12, powerful guy, isn't five. he? Very difficult, very difficult to play against. And for, for Rang Jiming, it's not, a, you know, the type of style that he plays, he's not used to. It's totally different from anything else. That's a tricky one. Thirteen. Oh. That's what you call missing the penalty in badminton. And he's even giving up, regardless. Of now that's the sort of shot that would worry me as a, one of his coaches. <laughs> I know it, it, it doesn't happen too often, but it does put a little bit of self-doubt into the mind, doesn't yeah. it? Seven, thirteen. For your confidence, is also nice to to win those points. But eight thirteen. Oh. Three points in a row won by uh, Rogowski here. Four. Well, he's 
Nine, he's taking his chances. 13. I like that net play he's using. He's not afraid of really going for it. Missed that shot again. Oh, fantastic slice shot. Yeah, that we discussed on it, wasn't it? Yeah. 14, Amazing. Nine. You can manage. Look at that, how relaxed that is. Thank you. Nothing at all Rogowski could do about that, so uh, the little mini run over with for the pole. Yeah, and I think he has to stay away from that, Rogowski. He, he can play the flat play and then the tempo. It's more up to him to try and take the net and then when the chance is there, he needs... I don't know that's the very hard style he has to choose, but that's his only chance, so... It's really good to see from Galski. He's not afraid to use these cross courts. Gave it the eyes as well, didn't he? Yeah. Well, that's a long way. When you're down seven points. <laughs> to get one of them back way. Yeah. A little bit of showmanship there, but uh, okay. couldn't repeat it. Very aggressive here, Rogalski. Fantastic. Time. But from 13-5 uh, down, he's fought hard, Rogowski. But three points now, Wang Zhengming here from victory in a place in the second round of this leaning BWF World Championship. 19-12. Uh, wasn't going to miss it this time. Match points, 20, eight of them for point. the number six well. seed here. Oh, that's a great shot. Game. But a fabulous return, and Wang Zhengming gets the job done pretty efficiently here. The number six seed is through to round two. 21 15, 21 12. Match he has overcome one, five, an opponent who five, fought hard, played some decent 15, shots 21, in this match, but 12. just was second best to the superior player in the end. At the point that took 
Wang Zhengming into round two. So Wang Zhengming will be pretty satisfied with that. Good workout and the right result. Confirmation of the scoreline, 21-15, 21-12. Please welcome the court officials on court number one. So next up, it's uh, mixed doubles as Tan and Lei take on Chan and Sei. Malaysia against Chinese Taipei. First round match in this uh, mixed doubles. Confirmation of the scoreline from that men's singles match we've just seen with the number six seed Wang Zhengming coming through in straight games in less than 40 minutes on court. Of course, we've got the uh, Commonwealth Games gold medalist Michelle Lee on after this one and then some Danes in action 